Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Today I'll be sharing with you this perfect chocolate cake recipe that comes together very quickly and is absolutely delicious. All of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below with the full measurements. To start off, into a mixing bowl I will be placing in 3 cups of flour, 3 cups of sugar, 1.5 cups of cocoa powder, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt. I place everything into my mixing bowl and fit it with the paddle blade and I mix everything just until everything is mixed throughout. I then add in four large eggs, one and a half cups of buttermilk. The way that I make this buttermilk so that it's dairy free, I take one and a half cups of almond milk and I add in one tablespoon of vinegar. I let that sit for a few minutes until I see that it curdles just like this. To that I add in half a cup of oil, one and a half cups of warm water, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I mix everything very well. Don't forget to stop your mixer and just scrape up the sides of the bowl to get all of that floury bits to get incorporated as well. I split the batter into three because I wanted to make a three layer chocolate cake. Here I'm just outlining some parchment paper to fit into my nine inch baking tray. I cut out the parchment paper, oil the baking tray really well and place the parchment paper inside. It just helps with easily removing the cake from the pan. To evenly distribute the batter to the cake pans, I use a measuring cup and scoop one cup into each container until all of the batter has been used up. As you can tell, I have a glass Pyrex dish over there because I only have two of the 9 inch cake pans. Once those two are fully baked, I will use what I have in the Pyrex container and place it into the cake pan and bake that as well. I bake it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and they come out perfectly. This chocolate cake is amazing just as is but you can totally dress it up any which way you want. The ideas and the possibilities are endless. You could put a ganache over it, some whipped cream, some confectioner's sugar right over the top or this chocolate buttercream with some cream cheese frosting and this is how I make it. I take about four sticks of butter or margarine or buttering earth's balance and I give that a very good whip until it turns a little bit paler. I would say about five minutes on a very high setting and you'll notice that the butter or what I'm using here as buttering is going to get nice and pale. Don't forget to scrape up the sides of the bowl to help it get incorporated properly throughout. Once the butter has been whipped very very well, I'm going to be adding in the tofuri cream cheese here. Tofuri cream cheese is a parv cream cheese substitute to keep my cakes parv and dairy free. I then add in 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract and 1 cup of cocoa powder. Make sure to use very good cocoa powder because it will definitely enhance the taste of your buttercream. Once all of that is incorporated, I add in 6 cups of confectioner sugar a few cups at a time. Make sure to once again scrape down the bowl so everything is incorporated very nicely. The trick with buttercream if you've ever worked with it is that it tends to get very very loose and soft so keep it in a cool area while you're assembling the cake. I even put mine in the refrigerator just so that it doesn't melt on me. To assemble the cakes, I try to carve it out so that they are very uniform in size. I do this by placing my hand right over the top of the cake and remove the top layer that is a little bit bumpy. You'll notice that the middle portion tends to rise up a bit so I try to carve that out so it could be nice and flat so that the cake when you put it together looks very seamless. I do a quick test by placing each round on top of one another just to make sure that they look perfect on top of each other. 
If there is anything out of place, I make sure to take care of it before I place the icing over the top. To keep my plate from getting dirty, I have cut up three slices of parchment paper so that my plate is left beautiful and clean when we are done decorating it. I place a little bit of cream on top of the plate so that the cake doesn't move around. I then proceed to layer the cake with the cream until everything is done. I then use an offset spatula and place the buttercream all throughout the sides of the cake. This cake can be decorated in so many ways as I stated earlier, here I'm just piping in a few beautiful florets right over the top. This chocolate buttercream with the cream cheese frosting came out so delicious, so smooth and silky. I really loved it. I would love to know what is your favorite way, what kind of frosting do you like to eat with your cakes? Is it cream cheese frosting, chocolate ganache? Do you just like your cakes? Any which way, leave me a comment down below. I would totally love to hear how you guys enjoy your cakes. Also, if you do end up making this cake, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. For the sides of the cake, I ended up using some chocolate sprinkles and placed them all throughout the side. This cake was made to order for one of my friends for an event that she was having and this is me cutting the cake and my husband is very graciously filming me doing it because I wanted to get some nice footage for this video. The cake just came out absolutely light and fluffy moist delicious decadent you guys have to try it and it's really so easy to come together and it is very very soft those are my husband's fingers and he could not contain himself and he took a lick he thoroughly enjoyed it and i hope that you guys do as well